In order to be able to effectively and quickly blast workpieces such as railway cars, cranes, or components from wind turbines, we developed an innovative blasting robot called Rico Blaster. We began by equipping a blast room with proven components. The components include a filter unit, a lamella type conveyor, a bucket elevator with inflow hopper, a vibration screen with a cascaded air wash system, a silo for the blast media, and a double chambered compressed air blasting machine. We then mounted the blasting nozzles on a motor driven eight axis manipulator, which we suspended in a manner similar to an overhead traveling crane. We set up the workplace of the operator in a cabin that we then placed in the immediate vicinity of the robot to create a safe and ergonomic workplace from what was once a tiring manual blasting procedure. An optimal view of the workplace can also be achieved because the cabin is suspended independently of the robot and can be moved relative to the blasting events. The positioning process is controlled using two joysticks that make it possible to intuitively implement the motion sequence. To control the process, the operator does not need to decide, for example, if articulation points 3 and 5 are required to achieve an intended blasting angle, because a program automatically translates his directions into the correct motion sequence. Thus, the operator can focus completely on the workpiece and the blasting goal. In order to blast the workpieces as effectively as possible, the two bottommost axes were additionally equipped with an oscillation mode. The robot is not only well suited for use with individual workpieces, but is also very effective for series production parts. All motions can be stored and recalled as a blasting program for series production parts. Complicated components or hollow parts, which can be accessed only from one side, can be processed in teach-in mode using a separate operator panel. This makes it possible to handle a second identical workpiece as a small series production run because the control unit can record the motion sequence. The operator now starts the blasting process. Impressive removal results are possible using a 19 millimeter nozzle and a blasting pressure of up to eight bar. The blasting performance measured in terms of the surface area per hour is about four to five times higher than the conventional results achieved by manual blasting. The uniformly clear view of the work area is the result of the well-dimensioned exchange of air that takes place in the cabin. If necessary, the operator can also move his cabin vertically, 
Vertical motion of 2.9 meters is possible here in this test hall. The front window is equipped with a motorized anti-wear cover that rolls up to protect the window. The test phase for the new robot has been completed successfully. Now, just give us your specifications and we'll build a Ricoh Blaster for you.